Hi, and welcome back. In the last section, we learned how to quickly automate tests with record and playback. Following that, to avoid wasting time recording the same steps for different test cases, we'll continue with creating a new test by adding more steps to the one we've made. Using a sample with the Cura Healthcare website, let's create a new test to book an appointment. I'll name it Booking an Appointment. Click on OK, and a new tab will appear. According to the website's logic, you need to log in to an account to book an appointment. This means our test case must have the needed steps to replicate what a successful login is like. You could hit the Record Web button and start recording everything from scratch. Open the web page, click on certain buttons, and type in the username, password, and continue from there. But that's not what we're going to do. Instead, we're going to reuse the login test case. This is one major benefit of test automation, and with Catalan in particular. It allows you to add and reuse your resources for further application, so that you can avoid doing repetitive tasks. Alright, back to business. Drag and drop this login into the tab on the right. All there's left is to record the additional steps, right? Not just yet. That's because the last step of this login test case is to close the browser. If we leave it just like this and go on recording with the browser closed, this test would fail without a doubt since it wouldn't be able to proceed to the next actions. That being said, I'll go back to the login test case, remove the last step, double click on it, select the last step, delete, and remember to save the change. Returning to booking an appointment test case, I'll hit record web to start. This warning dialog will appear, informing that this test case has unsaved changes. You can know if you've saved your test case yet by spotting the star at the beginning of this name. Just click on OK to save its current state and continue. After that, a new confirmation box will pop up, asking whether or not if you want to continue recording. Let's say we select No. I want a clean session. This web recorder window will open. Click on Expand and you see that all of the login steps are not included in here. This means you'll need to record everything from scratch and the login steps included. So let's exit this window to go back and click on Record Web again. This time, choose Yes. And in the recorded actions, the login test case has been included. Next, run through all of the existing steps to navigate to the booking screen by clicking on Playback. Wait for a few seconds, and it stopped. From here, I'll continue to perform the next steps manually to book an appointment. Alright, let's choose Hong Kong. Check on this and this. Choose the appointment date. Type in no comments, and click on Book Appointment. It will take me to this page where we will verify the test case. Right click on this text, Appointment Confirmation, point to Calon Studio and choose Verify Element Text Present. Everything is done. Let's close this window and run them back and wait for a few seconds. Status is passed. All good. Let's save the script. Again, this dialog box will appear, giving you the option to add new objects to repository or update the existing ones. In this case, they are all new objects. Click OK to save them. We'll discuss these test objects and repositories in another course. Make sure to subscribe to Calon email list to be notified when that comes out. Now it's asking whether if you want to append or override the recorded actions over this test case. Click Append and it will keep the existing steps and continue to add off the recorded actions. As a result, you can see here there's a duplication of call test case. Go ahead and delete the first one. Or to prevent that, you could go for the override option. It will replace the existing steps with the recorded actions so there wouldn't be any duplication. And at the end, the outcome would be exactly what you are seeing on the screen here. Let's execute this test again to make sure everything can run smoothly. And it passed. 
we have successfully created a new test case by adding more steps to the previous one. In the next video, I will show you how to use Canlon Studio to record test steps on your active browser.